Hey guys, um, today we have a Dell P26E, P26E001. It's also known as Inspiron 17 5000. So, but the markings are E26E on the laptop itself. We got it today for the power jack repair. And uh, this is what seems to be a problem right here. So the jack is messed up and you could see the metal shavings sticking out of there. So let me show you how to take it apart, how to basically fix it. If you can fix it yourself, you could uh, uh, you could send it to us, we can fix it for a hundred bucks. Leave a like if you like the video, right? So let me show you how to take it all apart. Let me reposition the camera so you could see all the screw positioning here. So the screws are here and here, which already been unscrewed by whoever shipped it to us. There are screws here, right here. We got one right here. And one right here. Okay, so we won't lift up the cover. Sorry, camera is always in the way. Here we got another screw right here. One right here, right here. One right there, right here. It's a tiny small screw just for the hard drive. So you want to remove the hard drive like that. And uh, we usually mark which one is where. Remove the CD ROM. Alright, and I don't see any SD cards or anything like that, so we are good to flip it over. Now here we got a keyboard that's being held in place by uh, flat springs right there. I need to put the screen as away as possible so that the tool won't damage the won't damage the screen on the recoil. And I want to put my glasses on because this is a sharp end here. Alright, so here you want to disconnect the uh, the uh, hinges. On this end, the hinge goes up like that, like that, and you have to lift up the cable a little bit and slide it from out of there. Then on this hinge goes up as well, like that, and you have to remove the cable like that. Alright, now, oops.
usually everything's done much faster but if the camera okay so touchpad right here this cable right there okay so everything disconnected now we have to unscrew the screws here right here right here right here and here take this apart this should be a clamshell Hopefully. this is as high as the camera goes so all right so I'm digging in that into here into here like that it's an expensive i7 system Oh, it's 2016, so it's kind of expensive. Now, here. All right. So it should come apart by now, but something is holding it someplace. Usually a screw that's hidden someplace. Nope. All right, everything came apart. Wonderful. So the whole thing comes apart like this. Great manufacturing, I would say. Basically, you could see the quality by raising it up and down. This whole metal piece has been reinforced so that the screws are not only being held to the plastic there but they're also being held to this metal shooting right here so it's really hard to break this hinge but on this end right here it's really easy to break well nope, not really so there is a screw right here that holds it down and this metal bracket is pulled the part of the top right here so they'll started to make good laptops now in a way they are less complicated to work on and uh, the reinforcement is there where where they need to be only problem is it's all metal and, and metal is usually much heavier and the laptop loses its purpose so being a laptop it becomes more of a desktop but to each his own and there are some people who want to have a big laptop like this so here we got the broken jack right and the jack is broken but also the the plastic rails right here they are kind of broken as well so let me go find the replacement connector we have all of them, it just takes time to find it. So if you want, you could skip a little bit. Alright, so...
worst part, you know you have it someplace, but it just takes forever to find it, and we got all of them. That's the The thing is, I know we have them just in the jack format, five jacks separately, but I just don't have time right now to look through everything we got. I'm just trying to see if we could find the one that has exactly the same. <laughs> They all have different uh, layouts when it comes to the uh, wiring. So this one, for example, has exactly the same plugin right here, but the wiring is totally flipped uh, the other way around. I think yeah. it should be in the reverse order. Anyway, this is here. This one is go figure. And now we got the most of those. And most of those right here. You know, maybe this one is the correct one. Let's see. The length is similar. But obviously the connection is not similar. So since we got most of those, not most of those, yeah, we can pretty much uh, we can pretty much transplant this one into that one. It should be alright. Or hold your horses for one second. This is reverse, right? Yeah, that's reverse. Hold on. So is it gonna be long enough? Yeah, that's gonna be long enough. Alright, so here. Let's see if he's gonna plug in just fine.
there it will plug in just fine. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I will flip the I will flip the pins. Basically, the jacks are the same, right? Like that. Same jacks. Same everything. Uh, now the red ones here are positive, and blacks are negative, and the gray is the center pin. That basically tells that the data um, tells that uh, I am a Dell power supply to charge the battery pretty much. So, so now the problem is on the output. You should understand that this has a red on the right side, so plus plus plus, and on the left side it has minus minus minus. And then in the middle it has a data signal. On this one, it has minus 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 plus plus plus. So what I need to do, I need to reverse those uh, blacks and uh, reds, and hopefully this jack gonna let me do so right now. Now, nobody usually reverses them, but we are also in business of drone manufacturing and repair. And for drones, there is no standard whatsoever. So those wires come in in all different types of variations. So the way how we usually reverse them is by lifting up this section right here. And pulling the cable pulling the cable outwards and for that we need much softer you see those guys, they don't strip the wire. Alright, so... Okay, so this guy's out. We don't want to damage the so here, something like that. So in case you buy a replacement jack for your laptop someplace online, it's probably gonna come in a, in a reverse format like this one. So let's see. So you might want to double check that the cabling is all correct. Uh, the colorations are always red is positive, black is negative. All right.
the only wire that we don't need to swap is the one that's in the middle. All right, so now what we need to do is uh, swap it like that. No, no, not like that, like that. All right, so straighten those guys out. All black, they're all minus, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which one you're gonna where so this one gonna go in here this one gonna snap in here like that this one will snap in here all right and now the red wiring Now the red wiring here. Here. And here. All right, so now we have the plug that matches closely to the to the way how it's supposed to be and uh, so basically this is both of the same thing all right again the best thing is uh, i mean it, it works should be working fine uh, i mean it's brand new power power jack exactly the same it just this one has just a shorter cable this one has a longer cable but it's all should be all right all right so we open it up and we press it in there and run the wiring under the lcd cable right yeah, like that okay maybe that like that let's press it in here bring it back around and plug it in here all right perfect fit so like that and Wonderful. You want to tighten the screws so that the uh, uh, the hinge would hold better. Even probably gonna drive it under like that, like that. All right. So now the problem is uh, the. The plastic right here, right? It's pretty much broken off. So what we need to do is we need to stabilize it in place. And stabilizing it in place is, sounds easier than it actually is. 
Let me check and see first of all if the polarity is right. We plug in the power supply, I mean the uh, plug. We want to measure and see if the voltage coming through on the minus, and that's a minus, on the plus, and that's a plus, and the data, that's a data. So everything is coming through just fine. So all the wiring is totally correct. Now, if whole thing gonna be moving around here, it's not gonna last for long. So the solution is to cement the whole thing in place. And the way you do that, I'm gonna show you right now. Only thing is the hinge gonna be always opening it and closing it down. Anyways, let's show, let me show you how you wanna fixate it in place. So that's how we fixated with cement. Cement takes 24 hours to cure. So tomorrow morning it's gonna be just like new, even better than new. So looks good to me. Let's put the cover back on top.
Now you do need to make sure that the hole is uh, perfectly straight because if it's gonna go to the left or to the right it's not gonna be alright so like that So I want to make sure that everything will come up. You will have to add a little bit glue on the outside here because the crack keeps coming back. So let me put in all the screws in place. Okay, so hmm. we're missing one screw. Oh no, no, we're, we're all right. It just seems like we missed one. No, we good. Again, if if this video is any has been of any help to you, just leave a like below. Like that. I like that. And this guy you can probably do like that. On the other side, on this side. No, like we're gonna do it this side up. Come on. Okay. Wonderful. Make sure it's all snapped together really well. Connect the uh, wireless cards here, the wireless cables. And connect this guy. Okay, so our drive goes in like that. 
and we screw it in with a small tiny screw. Okay. We have a CD. Make sure all those three clips are clipped in. CD roll goes in like that. Oh yeah, that's where the screws were missing. Okay, so this one. Everything seems to be alright. Oh, come on. Yeah. Like that, and like that, like right here. Okay. Alright, so usually we don't test them out until the next day uh, because. Uh, because the cement takes some time to cure. But let me find the two screws that are supposed to be in here. Because without them, okay, so this is the hard drive, the battery is like that. Everything's closed. And let's unplug this spacer. And this one right here, we're gonna have to put right here. Okay, wonderful. So all the screws are in place. Flip it over. supply. Okay. Alright, so the reason why the jack broke is probably because the power supply looks something like that. Come on. Focus. Maybe on the side of here. Come on. You see the crack? And it's not really perfectly center and round, and that's probably the reason why the whole thing went bad. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop off this cord. We will chop off this cord and put, uh, put. A new plug on this uh, so that the new plug won't be breaking the jack inside. So let's see first if it's gonna work. All right, and we got them. And here is we got uh, the image basically right here. It shows that it's uh, plugged in and charging like this item, and it's a touch screen. So 
So it's all good and it all works. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. Thanks so much.